Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, December, January, and February, all three months averaging below normal with the temperatures. And, well, that trend now continuing into at least early March. Uh, temps well below average this evening, and that trend will continue right through tomorrow as we check out live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. It is quiet after a little bit of light snow early this morning, especially in our southern suburbs, about a coating to an inch on Narragansett, Middletown, Fall River, Bristol, about a half inch, just a dusting in Cranston and places like West Warwick. Further to the north, there was nothing on the ground, so it was mainly southern suburbs. Of course, the bulk of the real significant snow staying just offshore, so we're lucking out there. Colder air again, chilly for most of the work week, though. By the weekend, we'll start to see temperatures moderate. Don't see any big storms headed our way, but a couple of chances for at least some light snow showers. The first uh, coming in on Wednesday, what we call ocean effect snow showers, kind of a cold northeasterly wind coming in off the ocean that'll take some moisture off the ocean and bring some either flurries or light snow showers Wednesday. May coat the ground, but certainly not a storm. Downtown Providence, crystal clear. 17 degrees feels more like 7 above. That's the wind chill. The winds are light north, northwest at 8. Humidity very dry, 36%. And many areas will be heading down into the single digits. And the storm that we were somewhat concerned about, even as early as last Friday, just far enough offshore for a miss. Did hit the mid-Atlantic with several inches of snow, but just grazing our area this morning. All of the Northeast Corridor now very cold throughout all of New England. Little tiny town in Vermont, right over there, Lindenville, Vermont, where myself and TJ went to weather school. It's already below zero, one below zero in the tiny town of Lindenville, Vermont. Great weather school. All right, check it out. Futurecast this evening and overnight, 11 o'clock, clear skies. Some ocean effect snow showers out across the Cape only. Elsewhere, it's clear, dry, and frigid. 8 o'clock in the morning, sunshine. And then during the afternoon, some fair weather clouds mixing with the sun, but it stays dry, but very, very cold. I mean, we should be about 40. 41 this time of year for a high temp. I mean, we won't even be close to that. And there's some extra clouds tomorrow evening, but at least we're not seeing any snow, at least not yet. However, by late, late tomorrow night, and especially on into Wednesday, again, of a northeasterly wind will bring in some flurries and light snow showers, especially across southeastern Mass. That's for Wednesday. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., that's it, 8 above zero by 11 o'clock in the morning, 25. Not much higher than, say, 27, 28 during the afternoon, so certainly cold. For early March, again, we should be around 40, 41, but at least we have some sunshine. I've actually taken the snow showers out of Thursday and put them into uh, into Wednesday. So light snow showers or flurries Wednesday may coat the ground. Nothing more than that. 31, 35 on Thursday, Friday, not bad. Temperatures getting back to oh, closer norms by the weekend, upper 30s to low 40s. Here's one sign of spring before you go to bed Saturday night, late at night. Set that clock ahead one hour daylight saving. So by Sunday, this is a nice treat. The sunset will be at around 640 in the evening. So those lace, those nice late sunsets will be kicking in as the days get longer. The seven day outlook doesn't see much promise as far as real warm weather, though it does moderate a little bit by the end of the week. Cold and dry tomorrow, light snow showers on Wednesday. All right, Tony, thanks. Yeah. And